Crypto has become a key issue in the run-up to the South Korean presidential election, with shots firing in all directions as politicians hunt for votes. As previously reported, the ruling Democratic Party nominee Lee Jae-myung has already pledged to unpick crypto tax law to delay the imposition of a controversial 20% levy on crypto trading profits from January 2022 to 2023 at the earliest. His main opponent from the People's Power Party has also promised to delay the law. But now Lee Jae-myung has ramped up the stakes, by suggesting that his party is seriously considering the notion of creating a crypto asset and handing tokens out to the entire nation. On November 11, Lee attended a Youth Talk on Crypto Assets event, where NBN quoted him as stating he hinted that he would seek to take a far more crypto-friendly approach than the incumbent government, explaining that South Korea is implementing a national policy of isolationism when it comes to that is causing an outflow of national wealth, he said. But his declaration drew ire from opposition lawmakers, particularly the People's Power Party President Lee Jun Sok, who wrote on social media that it would be better to issue a Lee Jae Myung nonsense non-fungible token, NFT, dash as such a token would at least be fun and will have market value. Meanwhile, on the issue of tax, the government has insisted it will not budge on the matter and wants to go ahead with a January 2022 launch as planned. However, it is serious at risk of being undermined by its own party. Chosen reported that the party says the decision to delay has been made unilaterally, for Kim byung wook the secretary of the National Assembly's Political Affairs Committee. Lee Jae Myung added that delaying the tax move by a year would provide a small but certain happiness to crypto investors, but denied the policy was a vote-grabbing move.